You're listening to the Life with Old Dogs podcast, and I'm your host, Dawn Mimna, primary caretaker of all of our wonderful senior German Shepherds right here at Woody's Place Senior German Shepherd Sanctuary. This week, we are covering chronic kidney disease in senior German Shepherds in our Life with Old Dogs blog post and podcast. Again, as a reminder, in Season 3, the 20 Most Common Health Issues in Senior German Shepherds, our blog posts and podcast coincide, all right? Um, There's, so we we talk about whatever specular, uh, specular, listen to me, (laughs) particular disease it is in the podcast, um, we may have guest hosts on, and then we uh, cover cover all of the information in the blog post in written form. And there's typically um, um, some some graphic images, uh, maybe some infograms and photographs included in the blog post. So, um, you know, be sure to check both out. You can listen to the podcast maybe as you're driving along in your vehicle or doing some housework, or at your desk working. And then if you want to check out the blog post as well, um, you know, you can you can do that too. So let's get back to it though. All right, this week we are covering chronic kidney disease in senior German shepherds. Now we're talking about chronic kidney disease, not acute kidney disease. There is a difference. Um, acute kidney disease is, it comes on suddenly, Um, such as like if your dog um, got into some sort of toxins like um, like antifreeze. So we're not talking about that, although that that can be fatal and very, very scary. We are talking about chronic kidney disease in senior German shepherds. So chronic kidney disease, which is a kidney disease that occurs over time. Okay, it occurs over time. It's not sudden, is a common health issue in senior German shepherds. Um, As our our fur friends age, their organs don't function as well as they used to. It's just like us, all right? Their their organs start to wear out. Um, And this can lead to a buildup of toxins in their system Um, because, of course, our kidneys are are our body's filter and gets rid of toxins in our body. So it leads to a buildup of toxins in their system and eventually kidney failure. Right? And it's, it's not always possible to prevent kidney disease. There are things we can do to help our senior German shepherds live a longer, healthier life. And we're going to dive deep into that right now. Kidney disease and, and, Treatment, diagnosis, symptoms of, um, uh, prevention of, and prognosis. So let's get right to it. All right. So what is chronic kidney disease? Okay. I just kind of touched base on that a little bit. Um, The kidneys are, of course, a crucial part of our body's filtration system that removes toxins and waste from the body, um, making them essentially, uh, I'm sorry, essential for maintaining good health, right? So we need our fun- our, our kidneys to function properly in order for us to be well, and it is the same thing for our fur friends. There are many possible causes for kidney disease in senior German shepherds, but some of the most common include genetic factors, chronic inflammation, cancer, issues with protein, Dental disease, which we talked about, which we covered in our dental disease um, podcast and blog post. And simply put, the kidneys wear out due to age. They they um, lose their functionality, if, if that's a word, functionality. I, I don't know if it is or not, but um, I like it, so I'm going to use it. So there are stages to chronic kidney disease. There's four, actually. Um, the, there's the normal, uh, stage one is normal creatine. Um, 
So for those of you who don't know, creatine is an amino fatty acid and our liver, pancreas, and kidneys make about one gram of creatine per day. So the kidneys excrete the creatine. And if the function declines, so does the creatine clearance. Creatine blood levels are the most commonly used indicator of kidney function. So it's assumed that if your levels are high, your kidneys haven't done their job. Um, And it's the same thing again in our dogs. Okay, and the concern rises uh, because... It can increase creatine levels beyond normal range. And again, that's a marker for kidney damage. Okay, so let's get back to this again. So there are four stages. And the first stage is considered a normal creatine level. The second stage is a normal to mild, ele- mildly elevated creatine level. The third stage is moderate level. And the fourth stage is severe. So there's a complete guide, and I have the link posted in the blog post. There's a complete guide in the International Renal Interest Society uh, for dogs and cats. So be sure to check it out. Okay, so there's there's definitely more uh, in-depth information there. All right, moving on. What are the signs of chronic kidney disease in a senior German Shepherd? So there's there's quite a few, and um, it doesn't mean that your senior German Shepherd is going to have all of these. They may have one, they may have two, they may have a few, but this is, this is what you want to look for, uh, drinking excessively or not enough. Uh, I always get nervous when one of our seniors starts guzzling water like they haven't seen it before in their entire life. Um, we've had We've had a few of our seniors now pass from kidney disease, kidney failure, the latest being Champ. I do have have his uh, a couple pictures of him up on our blog post Um, and his his uh, passing was not too long ago. And I had a feeling it was his his kidneys um, by his excessive drinking. Um, the irony is they may not drink enough, but I've only seen excessive drinking um, weight loss. They they seem to lose weight. They don't really have an appetite. If they are eating, there's nausea and possibly vomiting, um, bouts of diarrhea, uh, urinating in the house. So they start having accidents. You know, maybe they don't even know they're having accidents. Maybe they're sleeping on their, their bed and all of a sudden there they are in a puddle of their own urine and didn't even know it. Uh, excessive urinating or not urinating enough. Um, so the urinating is interesting. Um, you can almost tell that they're not concentrating based on the way their urine looks. But we'll we'll talk more about um, concentrating urine here or not concentrating urine here in a little bit. Uh, bad breath. It's it's typically a, a chemical smell, or it can be a chemical smell. Excessively sleeping, so they're lethargic because the toxins are building uh, up in their body. Depression, they can have mouth sores and pale gums. Uh, Their coat appearance might not be so great. Maybe they don't want to, you know, groom themselves as much because they don't feel so well. Um, Abnormal swelling can happen. Uh, They can have visible pain and discomfort. Um, Inability to walk properly, Uh, they may sway or not be able to maintain their balance. And as the disease progresses, they may even have seizures. When I think of uh, two of the dogs that we had here with kidney disease, one was my own personal German Shepherd, Levi Jane. She passed away from kidney disease. And the last few days, she couldn't even get up. It almost looked like she had degenerative, end-stage degenerative myelopathy. Like, she just couldn't get up. That was it. And she couldn't eat, and she was panting, and uh, that was her last day. And it was pretty bad, and we ended up having to say goodbye that day. Um, Champ, Champ was a champ, honest to goodness. I mean, he tried. He just tried so hard um, to maintain a normal lifestyle, but, you know, 
<laughs> he he couldn't unfortunately and um his his last few days were um not wanting to eat and um peeing uh having pee accidents on his bed without even realizing he was he was peeing uh having difficulty walking just hunched over looking like he was he was in pain because he was and that was it was really sad So let's talk about how chronic kidney disease is diagnosed. It is diagnosed by lab work and a urinalysis. So the urinalysis um, is used to check uh, for elevated kidney function to see if there's elevated kidney function or, or lack of kidney function. And one of the things your vet will check for is a low urine-specific gravity, otherwise known as USPG. You'll see that on on blood work. Uh, That is the earliest indication of kidney failure. And also an increase in protein in the urine also indicates decreased kidney function. There's also going to be blood tests done, so it'll be a complete blood count and a chem panel. And that is to assess the function of of the internal organs. Um, And what your vet is going to be looking for, they're going to measure levels of two waste products in the blood, namely the blood urea nitrogen. I hope I'm saying that okay. It's otherwise known as the BUN, BUN, on um, on the blood results Sometimes you'll see that if you do ask for a copy, I always do. And also the blood creatine. So that's C-R-E-A on the blood work. Okay, these levels indicate decreased kidney function. And other, other uh, your vet's going to look for other levels as well, uh, potassium, sodium, phosphorus, calcium, a uh, few other things here, red and white blood cell count. That's all important in order for your vet to determine the extent of kidney failure and then the best course of treatment. Getting into the treatment for chronic kidney disease, the treatment really depends on your senior German Shepherd's overall health. Uh, but the primary focus of Chronic kidney disease treatment is really to slow down the progression of the disease because, unfortunately, there there is no cure for it. Um, it's going to take its course like many other diseases, and uh, all we can do um, as as senior German Shepherd parents and uh, is to work with our veterinary team to slow the progression of the disease down so that our German shepherds, our senior German shepherds, are as comfortable as they can be for as long as possible. So some methods that will be used to slow the progression down. Uh, The big one is to incorporate a therapeutic diet specific for chronic kidney disease. Um, That will include reduced amounts of sodium, protein, and phosphorus, but adding omega-3 fatty acids to their diet. And of course, there is um, commercial brand prescription diets that, of course, you can get at your veterinarian's office. Um, Hill Science Diet is the one that comes to, to mind right off the bat. I think it's actually called Hill Science Diet KD. I know also Purina Pro Plan has their kidney function canine formula as well. Um, And there's quite a few folks that seem to like that. Royal Canin has theirs as well. It's Royal Canin Renal Support. I really like Royal Canin. Um, If I was to pick out of any of those, that's, that's what it would be for me, Royal Canin. Um, although it's it's costly, there's no doubt about it. The commercial brand dog food for dogs with kidney disease is costly, unfortunately. Anyway, um, your veterinarian will probably include medications to treat symptoms. Um, there could be acid reflux uh, issues. There could be medication to treat nausea, um, medication to treat blood pressure, which could become an issue with kidney disease. 
and possibly even medication to reduce swelling um, are just a few of the medications that could be used. Uh, Nutritional supplements may be added as well. So some nutritional supplements that you may want to include um, are B vitamins. So that's uh, increased water-soluble vitamins that are lost through urinating. Uh, B vitamins would be one of them. Um, Antioxidant property vitamins uh, such as C, E, beta carotene, and lutein would be good. Um, So again, they're anti-properties, which help fight against cell damage and promote immunity health. So something along those lines might be good. Uh, Some people like to try to incorporate natural remedies such as herbs and spices. Of course, not all are ideal for dogs, so you would definitely need to speak with your veterinarian about this. But some that are good for dogs are rosemary, um, parsley, and oregano. Uh, so there are some things that you you're, you might want to talk with your vet to incorporate into your dog's diet if he should have chronic kidney disease. Maintaining appropriate electrolyte levels, and as the disease progresses, perhaps uh, IV fluid therapy, uh, maybe even dialysis might be an option. So is there a way to prevent chronic kidney disease in senior German shepherds? Uh, It is difficult to prevent, especially if it is inherited. Um, But with regular wellness examinations with your trusted veterinarian, this will help increase the chances of at least detecting chronic kidney disease symptoms early so that treatment can begin as quickly as possible to help prolong your senior German shepherd's life. So in a nutshell, um, if, if it is genetic, if it's a genetic factor, there's really no way very, I shouldn't say no way, but the chances are slim of preventing chronic kidney disease in senior German shepherds. Chronic inflammation is something that could be managed. Dental disease is something that could be managed. Um, Cancer, yeah, I'm not really too sure about that. And of course, the kidneys wearing out due to age is something that really can't be prevented. So that leads us to the prognosis The prognosis for senior German shepherds with kidney disease is, is, it's it's serious. It's a serious condition that can be fatal in older German shepherds if left untreated. Um, Again, the key is to get your, your senior German shepherd to the vet as soon as possible for testing and treatment options, because the earlier the intervention, the better the chances are that your senior German shepherd will go on um, to live a longer, happier, healthier life. Uh, The reality of it is, though, unfortunately, the kidneys in general are not able to regenerate in function. So there, there is no cure. If, if the damage becomes so great to their kidneys, um, unfortunately, that's it. And then at some point, you're going to have to to determine whether um, their quality of life is where it should be, or whether it's time to make a decision to help your fur friend um, across the Rainbow Bridge. That That is the reality of chronic kidney disease. Yeah, I wish I had... I wish I had some better news on that front. And believe me, like I said, we've we've been there a few times now with senior German shepherds here at Woody's Place. And it's sad. It is sad. Um, the, The best we can do is the best we can do for them while we are with us and know that we did all we could do for them before we had to say our, um, our final goodbye. All right, so I, I just want to leave you with some tips that that we use here at the sanctuary for, well, for our dogs in general, but ex- uh, especially for senior German shepherds with chronic kidney disease. Um, the first one is uh, because, uh, because 
your senior German shepherd with chronic kidney disease can't concentrate his urine effectively, we always have plenty of fresh water on hand. Always. And we just have, we have bowls all around, (laughs) water bowls all around the sanctuary. There's plenty of water drinking stations. No question about it. And those water drinking stations get changed frequently throughout the day, even if uh, even if it looks like one of the bowls hasn't really been used, uh, they still all get changed at least three times throughout the day, sometimes four times throughout the day. So there's there's plenty of water stations available with fresh water because you want to make sure that the water is fresh. Um, number one, to to entice them to drink as much as possible. Um, Maybe they are drinking as much as possible and, you know, they're slopping up the water and then they come back and it just, you know, who really wants to drink that? (laughs) I don't, I don't want to, and I don't want them drinking it either. So keep it cold and keep it as fresh as possible and keep many water stations available for your older German Shepherd. The other thing is to incorporate wet food, such such as, as canned food or dehydrated food that now has been rehydrated. So you you want to include, uh, you want them to drink, be able to stay hydrated, um, and maybe maybe they're uh, a senior German Shepherd who instead of drinking excessively isn't drinking enough. So you want to try to sneak in as much moisture and water as possible. And one way to do that is by offering um, wet food. And um, and and if you are wetting the food, and you know you don't want to use like. Well, you can. I mean, you can use a broth, but you have to make sure it's low sodium or no sodium because you don't want them to have too much sodium because that could affect their kidneys as well. So just be careful if you're wetting the food, what you're wetting the food with, and make sure that um, it's not high in sodium. But I, I would stick to a canned or a um, dehydrated and then hydrated, and then just make sure that food is... Um, specific for dogs with uh, chronic kidney disease. And the next tip I, I just touched base on, it, that's to keep your eye out for excessive sodium, uh, excessive sodium in foods or treats, uh, because you don't want your senior German Shepherd's kidneys to work any harder than they already are. All right, now speaking of the food, again, there is there is commercial brand Um, dog food specific for dogs with chronic kidney disease. Um, A kidney support diet for your dog will contain the following key components on dry matter basis. So the protein is about 14 to 20%. Phosphorus is 0.2 to 0.5%. Sodium is 0.3, and omega-3 fatty acids is 0.4 to uh, 2.5%. That's according to the VCA America, uh, Animal Hospital, and that information is in our blog post. I just want to point out one thing here. If we have a dog with, with chronic kidney disease, a, a lot of you know I do home cooking um, for these dogs. And I'll tell you what, I, I get a little nervous about um, home cooking for dogs with chronic kidney disease, and I would much rather use a commercial brand dog food uh, specific for chronic kidney disease because I don't I don't want to mess that dog up uh, by not getting it right with the home cooking. That's something I haven't really mastered yet for a dog with chronic kidney disease. So I would rather get the prescription diet and go that route. Um, although Champ here, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. Champ, Champ did get a lot of home cooking, um, but closer toward the end when I realized what was going on, when we realized what was going on, I backed off. Okay, again, another tip is increased levels of omega-3 fatty acid. Um, the reason for this is, well, they're good for you, and also because it reduces inflammation and supports kidney health. Um, I mentioned before, increase water-soluble vitamins, 
uh, like B vitamins incorporate vitamins such as C, E, beta carotene, and lutein uh, for their antioxidant properties, which help fight against cell damage and that promotes immunity health. All right, so they're my tips. And I, I just want you to know, I did include a link in the blog post um, if you want to see the complete IR, IRIS guide for chronic kidney disease in cats and dogs. Uh, it's definitely something, you know, you w- might want to check out and maybe print out just to have on hand. Okay, so that's it, folks. That's all I have for this week for chronic kidney disease in senior German shepherds. Next week, we are going to be speaking with Donna Challender of the Upright Canine Brigade, and we are going to be speaking with Donna about mega esophagus. Okay, that is another common health issue in senior German shepherds. So she's going to school us on that stuff. And um, that is one thing uh, we we haven't had here at Woody's Place Senior German Shepherd Sanctuary. We uh, when last when we um, spoke about exocrine pan- pancreatic insufficiency, we haven't had that, and no mega esophagus, knock wood. But if you have, or if you want to learn about it and know what to look for, uh, please, please, please be sure to tune in next week. So um, you can learn all about mega esophagus in senior German shepherds or dogs in general. Again, um, I've said this a few times throughout this season. These these health issues, of course, they pertain to other dogs besides senior German shepherds. There's no doubt about it. Maybe it doesn't even have to be a senior do- dog. Um, the so- mega esophagus can happen at any age. It can happen as uh, in puppies. So, but. These are the top 20 health issues in senior German Shepherds. So, all right, folks, that is it. That's all I have for this week. Thank you for tuning in. And if you like what we're talking about or what I'm talking about or what we're talking about when we have um, we have guests on, um, please, please, please leave us a thumbs up or a like or a comment in the podcasts, whatever platform you're on, especially if you're on iTunes, because it helps us rate higher and then more people can find our Life with Old Dogs podcast and um, yeah, learn more about Senior German Shepherds. All right, folks, thanks and um, be well.